definitely you want to stay healthy during the season. You want to make sure all the student athletes continue to be healthy and they make sure that they develop. And while they develop, we want to have fun. And while having fun and being developed, you know, the ultimate that you can be able to win at the end of the day. And that's to be able to win every game that you play. Make sure that we get college ready. Kids learning how to compete week in and week out. You know, when they're on the field, they give it maximum effort every play. And that's the way life is. We want to make sure they understand that the game of, you know, this football thing is really turning into the game of life at the same time. We want to have a culture of understanding that, you know, every day you have to be able to be at your best. And that's what we're definitely trying to be here at Booker T. Washington Senior High School. I think it's great for the program, it's great for our student athletes, great for the coaches. You know, because we want to be a college ready program. And so that's what we're trying to make sure we get the, our student athletes to understand during the scheduling. Because in college, every week is going to be a big week. You got to be ready to play week in and week out. And so that's why we choose as coaches to put our kids to an awesome schedule like we have this year to make sure when the school's doing their evaluations, they can evaluate student athletes that has been battle tested. And that's why I schedule the way it is. All our, our senior class is big for them because that's what the college is looking for, is for the ability to lead. If those kids are learning the ability to lead and do the things the right way, you know, that can open up big doors for themselves and I definitely put our team in a position to be able to be successful. So the senior leadership is, is ultimate and that can take us where we need to go at. It's not just what people say on the outside that we just have talent. You know, our coaches here in South Florida is really teaching and developing our student athletes and now the national sports writers is now definitely looking into that and they see in all the detail of the work. And when our kids are moving on to college, those kids are going and playing as freshmen so now all the big pictures being shown, that's why Dade County in South Florida, we have, have, we have a lot of national rated teams, you know, in South Florida. You know, we working hard to win the national championship this season. We are expecting to win a national title this year uh, through all the hard work and discipline and all the pres preservation. My expectation for this season, you know, work hard, grind as a team, as a unit, try to make it back to states. You know, I do whatever I can do to own my team back to state. This upcoming season, you know, I expect to have well, I expect to shut, uh, as a defense, I expect to shut out every team that we face this year, you know, and um, hopefully get a W next week, take one game at a time. And for um, personal goal, I just want to blank it every receiver I face this season. We're going to shut out everybody. We're trying to beat our whole 17 record. We got 10 shutouts. We're trying to shut out the motivation. It motivated us, you know, the thing that the other team was saying, North Cross, they were talking about. Um, it, was a great, it was a great experiment for us as a um, team, as a unit, to play on ESPN and get exposure. Set a big statement for the country. You know, everybody doubted that we will lose. We don't have a great coaching style. We undisciplined. So, all summer we've been training, working very hard to win that game. I really just came into the game with my mindset. You know, just like any other game. You know, before the game, you got that anticipation just to play. You know, you're in a new, you're in a hostile environment. So, you know, I just came to play my game. As far as we can, you know, it was a great experience. You know. Uh, we had me and my team had a little talk to guys and telling you guys it's my senior year. This is our life for the seniors. We came to get out like this is our senior year. We try to run a scoreboard and shout out every team in the country. Let's come out here and show them how hard we work and made the best team win. One at a time, you know, we, our team just preparation, just going through one game at a time. One game at a time. Just taking it day by day, game by game. One at a time, looking forward to every game. We're trying to shut everybody out, trying to do what we got to do. Everybody recall, you know, this is a team thing. One person ain't no I and team, so we keep everybody on the same page, you know. Take winning that championship, you gotta stick with each other and just ball out. You know, all of us just compete as a unit and push each other to work harder. We all work equally hard, you know. Honestly, you know, there's probably some guys that stand out, but you know, we push everybody to work to the best of their ability. Chad Thomas is the funniest guy on the team, you know, he got very big jokes. He make everyone laugh, you know, and he a hard work on the team. The funniest on the team, I have to say, is Rashad Fry. Rashad Fry running back number 23. Yeah. Chad and myself. Nadu, you got a shot. People say I be coming because well, Nadu, he got good speeches too. As a, for, like for a player, you know, he used coaches. What coaches are used for a speech, you know? We all we got. We, we all we need. need. We all we got. We all we need. We all we got. We all we need. That's five on three. That's five on three. One, two, three.